So I just got back from VidCon and oh boy, it was uh, it was something. I both had a lot of fun and also was kind of a bit underwhelmed by everything and yeah, by the time the final day arose, I was so sick of that convention hall. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> also, I'm very sick. I don't know if you could hear it. If you all have seen my previous video, Afmao and her husband Jason had both invited me to go to VidCon, and this was very, very last second. They contacted me about this on Monday, and then I got all my flight details on Tuesday, and then I left to go to VidCon early Wednesday morning. I literally had no time for anything, so massive thank you to Afmao and her lovely assistant for helping me every step of the way to get everything situated. It's actually so funny, because, fun fact, I was actually complaining to myself Sunday night, before this whole thing happened, that I wanted some sort of call to action, that I was feeling so empty and unsatisfied with myself and I so badly wanted something to happen. And then literally the next day, everything changed. It's so funny. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I got up really early and headed to the airport, and surprisingly, I think I'm getting used to planes. I actually have a fear of heights, but at this point, I think I'm kind of getting over it, because I've been on so many planes this past week, I'm gonna be honest. So yeah, I arrived, and the hotel was really nice. I don't think I've ever really been in one that looked like this. It kind of sucks, because I didn't really get to experience everything at this uh, hotel place. They had a huge pool, and I never even got the chance to see it, because I was so busy. It really sucks, but oh well, what can you do? I also didn't pack a swimsuit anyways, so it doesn't matter. Now it's time for room tour! Woo! The room was nice. Here we have a view and oh look, it sucks. See you time. There was a chair and a patio thing which I never figured out how to get to. I don't think I was even allowed to open the door. We have some nice paintings and oh look, mirror. Ah! <laughs> oh fuck. No face reveal yet. I'm saving that for never. <laughs> Bathroom review. Uh, 6 out of 10. It was okay. The lights were really bright, so if you wanted to do makeup and stuff, you can. Uh, they have a small room for the toilet and shower. This has been Bathroom Review. See you all next time. So, VidCon had started on Wednesday, but surprisingly, Afbao invited me to lunch and a small outing, and I actually got to meet everyone before the actual event started, which was really cool, and boy, I was really awkward. <laughs> everyone was really nice, and yes, everyone was there. Andy, Keston, Lizzie, Ross, Moeka, Chris, like, everyone was there, and they were so cool. I thought things would be weird, because yeah, I'm just a fan, and it always felt like I was kind of intruding and like, inserting myself in their conversations, but literally, it was just me being stupid, because yeah, everyone was just amazing, especially Jess. She always made sure to, like, like, talk to me and ask if I was doing okay and having fun, it was honestly a, just a dream come true. I've never actually been to this place before, it was a lot bigger than I expected, and man, it was a lot of walking. But it was so easily worth it, because everything looked so pretty, especially when it was getting late and all the lights turned on. I had so much fun just walking around and just looking at things. Also, apparently they have fireworks like all the time, so that was really cool. And uh, oh yeah, so uh, I actually got to see the My Street Season 7 teaser trailer a day early, technically, sorry not sorry. It was honestly very surreal, because like, it was actually the first time the VA saw the trailer fully completely completed, and they were just so in love with it. They were so happy for My Street to return, and I'll never forget everyone just looking so passionate while watching the trailer. It truly was amazing. I got to talk to Jess and the VAs a little bit, and it's so interesting to see them so grounded and just have such a passion for the stuff they do. Cause like, you know, they work all the time and you'd expect them not to want to talk about the things they work on unless they have to. I always expect them to get tired of talking about the same stuff, and especially about work stuff, but no, they really do enjoy everything they're a part of, and they love talking about it. And honestly, it really opened my eyes to Afmao newer content. Much like everyone else, I just wrote off her content as just kid-friendly brain rot and nothing more. But after talking to the VAs, I have a whole new respect for them because they actually really like that type of content for multiple reasons. They told me how much fun it is just to go into the recording and just throw everything at the wall and make funny references and just hang out. They barely consider it work, it's really cool. It honestly made me appreciate everything they do a lot more. I'm glad they can have fun while recording these dumb videos. Still not gonna watch your new content though. And that was the end of day one. Day two comes around and I actually slept really well. I was very surprised because I'm usually not the type to sleep well unless I have my special pillow or weighted blankets, so I was very happy that I was instantly able to clock out. Maybe someone came in and knocked me out, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, I got ready for the day, did my normal routine, and I acted like a weirdo because of course I did. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I made my way to the convention center and I decided to walk because the weather was actually really nice. Which is weird because apparently it was a pretty hot day, but actually it felt pretty good to me. I mean, yeah, you stand in the sun, you're gonna start melting soon, but there was a nice breeze and the air wasn't dry at all. I thought the weather was absolutely great and I kind of miss it. Though, it definitely was a bad call to walk to the convention, because yeah, I really shouldn't have done that. My feet were hurting so much by the end of the trip. VidCon was actually really impressive, but wow, it was a lot smaller than I was expecting. The actual convention center was huge, but there weren't as many booths and panels as I was expecting 
expecting. Which I guess was a good thing because everything has such long lines. I can only imagine trying to move around while everything is just so packed together so tightly. Aphmau's actual booth was definitely the biggest one and the most entertaining. Also, I found it pretty funny that her new series was technically spoils because yeah, that poster was just straight up sitting there for everyone to see. Unless it wasn't intentional, and if that's the case, then somebody's getting fired. <laughs> I was also really surprised that you could buy the other posters. I don't think they're available on our website anymore, so that's a really cool exclusive. As far as I know, they were all limited runs. You can only get them for a certain amount of time, so yeah, that's awesome. Surprisingly, there was a lot to do at this booth. I think my favorite was definitely this cool Meemaw racing minigame thing. The way you play the game is that you're given these like ski ball things and you toss them in the holes and every time you make it in the hole, your Meemaw moves. And the first one to go to the finish line wins. It's really cool. I sadly didn't get the chance to do it because, oh my gosh, the lines were so long. Also, I just kind of felt bad because like I was clearly very much older than everyone else at that booth. And at one point, I was so close to the front of the line and this very tired mother and her like, I, I don't know, like nine year old daughter was just so impatient and constantly asking like, how much longer is it gonna take? Eh? And I just felt so bad because like, yeah, there are clearly so many kids who deserve to be there and so many tired parents who are waiting like hours in line to go just, you know, buy a dumb meme out. So yeah, I, I kind of moved out of the way, gave them my spot and yeah, because it's not a big deal. I can always come back. I wasn't able to come back. Regardless though, I'm glad I did it. But yeah, let's move on to another part of the booth. On the other side, there was this giant gumball machine. I love the little animations on this. Props to Jess and her old team. They really went all out for this. It's so cute. It's really impressive and also I bet pretty pricey. So I'm really glad they went like all out for this. And finally, we have the claw machine where we test our luck and skill and try and nap a little Meemaw best friend and take him home and tie him in the basement. And at every corner of the booth, there was like this little shop where you can buy special Meemaws or cotton candy or those damn fucking gummies. All right, it's time for the panel. The whole reason why I came here to see for the first time what Aphmau is going to show off. Totally gonna be surprised when it happens, I swear. <laughs> Not like I saw it already. Well, oh, who said that? <laughs> Overall, yeah, this panel was really good. They started off by, you know, walking on stage and just started talking about Minecraft and making jokes about Jason not liking Birch and just how far they've come. They then introduced Keston and they actually gave him an award and a check for $10,000. Because yeah, he's been a voice actor for Atmel for 10 years, which is absolutely insane. Congrats to Keston. Funny shenanigans then happen and Jason gets murdered by some mysterious hooded man. And then all the other characters come out to try and solve the mystery. We have Ian showing up at the wrong place at the wrong time and of course all the fans including me, immediately assume it was him. Yeah, fuck you, Ian. <laughs> Ian is such a huge gremlin. He kept trying to steal the award, but <gasps> gasp! Detective Kimmy comes in and doesn't help at all. <laughs> this part was extremely funny. After investigating a little bit and going through Aaron's pockets, they find a cookie and- <gasps> Oh my god! <coughs> I love how easy it is for them to just perform. I've never seen them do anything live before and I'm very glad that this was my first experience of it. Everything flows really nice and they're so charming. They've got this whole thing down to a T. They definitely should do more shows in the future. I was really hooked. And uh, oh look, the murderous- <gasps> Pierce! How dare you, Pierce? They then all sat down and answered a few questions, and I think that the others were supposed to appear during these questions, I think? From the way that things were set up in the beginning, you know, with the announcing of something, like the award made of gold, or the random cookie in Jason's pocket, the character that is associated with that thing would appear. For example, Ian with the gold, Kim with the detective, and so on. Atmau references Daniel, and I was almost so certain that Ross was gonna walk out and sit with them, but he didn't. But he did come out later on at the very end of the panel, so yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they did plan for people to keep coming out on stage, but something wrong or it wasn't communicated, I, I don't know, it's hard to say. And now the moment you've all have been waiting for, the reveal of Aphmau's new project that you all totally don't know about and that you're seeing for the first time because I uploaded this really early, I swear. We wanted to announce something very special. We have been through a lot on this YouTube journey, as we had mentioned, there was a lot of firsts, and of course there's a lot of lasts. Um, some of the series obviously end abruptly, and that's because YouTube is very difficult. Producing like three cinematic episodes a month, of, a week back in the day when it was just us, is nuts. It's insane. So keeping up with that is rough. We wanted to announce something very special, but instead of announcing it, I think we would rather, rather show you guys.
My Street One Last Time, coming late 2025, fully animated. Let's fucking go. I will be doing a theory video dissecting everything about the trailer and also possibly trying to guess what could happen, so please let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's start our discussion, I would love some help. Coming out of nowhere, we have more VAs entering the stage. We have Lizzie, Michaela, Andy, James, and Ross. Not gonna lie, I was very excited for Ross. <laughs> You know, maybe that's why my voice is gone. They sadly don't stay for long, but it was nice to see them. And then we have another very welcome surprise. Loving Caliber came out on the stage and played like two songs. I will be posting their performance on my channel and the audience reaction to the trailer shortly after I upload this video, so look out for that. Alright, day three! Outfit check! Vibe check! Vibe check! Woo! I honestly look so good here. Gosh, I'm so fucking handsome. So this was the day of the meet and greet, and oh boy, the lines were long, the energies were high, they were rushing everyone, and I'm not gonna lie, I was the only boy in this building. <laughs> there were maybe only like one or two dads there, but other than that, I was surrounded and I was the only guy. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to record or ask questions or anything at the meet and greet. They told us that we had to make things quick, take our pictures, and move on. Which sucks because I so badly wanted to record something and say something funny and probably ask Afmel if I really do sound like Lawrence. But of course, I sadly wasn't able to. So naturally, I stuck a quick video. It was also this day that I learned that the real reason why you go to these kind of conventions is the panels that are scheduled for the upstairs area. I didn't know any of this until I went around exploring, and wow, I was missing out on the first day I was here. The first panel I went to was the Smosh Mouth panel, and it was exactly how I expected it to be. They talked about boobs in FNAF. It was the funniest shit ever. It's so weird seeing these people that I watch online, like in real life. Like, my brain never registered that, oh shit, they're right in front of me. It's such a weird feeling. The next few panels that I went to were about marketing and analytics and how to approach companies. They were interesting but they were also boring, I'm not gonna talk about them. I also took pictures with some of the VAs. My goal was to try to get signatures and pictures from everyone, but sadly, I wasn't able to find everyone. I did try though, I tried really hard, and I got so close. The only one that was missing was Keston, Andy, Moeka, and Jason. Ross was actually the first one I ran into, I fucking love Ross, he's always been my favorite. Maybe one day I can complete the collection. One day. Anyways, I saw Smosh! Woo! Ian and Anthony! I could not get a seat at the Minecraft panel. There were no seats available at all. And I came to the panel like an hour and a half before it started. And yeah, it was already packed. But hey, it was fun to watch from a distance. Gosh, my feet hurt. 
I left the convention by this point to take some time to rest, but I came back like 3 hours later cause Loving Calibur was actually having a full on concert. And of course I will be posting the whole concert a little bit after this video goes up, so look forward to that. Day 4, woo! It's the final day in my final fit. Uh, it's okay. I like yesterday's shirt better, not gonna lie. This one's cool though, I guess. So fun fact, I actually don't go out that often, I know, surprising. <laughs> so it's really cool to finally wear shirts that I've never worn before, but uh, it's yeah, this shirt's not that cool. I like the other one better. I went to another panel where everyone screamed a lot, ow my fucking ears. I went to another panel and another, but yeah, you get it. I actually ended up going to the con kind of late and didn't really stay for too long. I was already insanely tired by this point and my feet ached so bad, I really tried just to take it easy. Which kind of sucked, cause yeah, it was the last day of the convention, but oh well, what can you do? The day finally ends and to wrap up the whole trip, I was invited to dinner with all the VAs, which was honestly so cool. And here's a random out of context clip of Jess. <laughs> Where do you think they get them from? What do you think they are? You just whoop, whoop. Alright, I guess so. Alright, okay. The flesh on your side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. Okay. So, hamsters. Yes. It was a really fun night, and I love the fact that Jess and Jason told me I can ask them a few questions about Season 7. I felt very bad at first, cause like, it was the last day of the convention, and it was also a long week for them, cause they were so busy, and, you know, I was like, oh, they probably wanna relax, I shouldn't bother them, but they were like, no, we wanna talk about it, just ask us already. <laughs> it was really funny, cause it felt like they were holding me at gunpoint. <laughs> but yeah, that was the end of my trip, the end of my VidCon journey. I then woke up super early, felt extremely ill, and went on a few plane rides, and went home. <laughs> Overall, I had such an amazing time, and I'll never forget this. Thank you so much Aphmau, Jason, their assistant, all the VAs, everyone I met. Literally everyone, thank you so much. This was a dream come true and I don't know how I could ever repay you. I'm so grateful and I hope that maybe I could see you all again soon. If there is ever going to be a next time. Uh, but yeah, honestly, just, I, I can't say it enough. Thank you so much for everything. I truly will never forget this. It was a dream come true.